I'm going to start from developers.google.com slash app engine and on the left hand side there's a link that says downloads if I select the downloads link then I see a number of different downloads that are available to me the app engine SDK for PHP, Python, Java and Go for example in this tutorial we're going to be using Python so I'm going to select the Google App Engine SDK for Python and that brings me to this number of jump links for Windows, Mac OS X and Linux but in this uh, tutorial I'm going to be downloading and installing the one for Windows so I'll download the Google App Engine 188.msi or whatever version you're seeing uh, when you're watching this video you may have a later version we can see here on the bottom left that Internet Explorer, oh, sorry, that Chrome is downloading uh, the MSI and it's just going to take a couple of minutes. Once that's downloaded, you can just double click on the MSI and it will open up and then you can run it. You'll see the Google App Engine setup wizard and the first thing that's going to happen is uh, for Windows, Windows doesn't have Python installed by default so you're going to get this little bit of a warning so we want to make sure we download it so I'm going to go ahead and download Python 2.7 from python.org so I'll get App Engine out of the way for a second and here's the Python 2.7.6 Windows installer so I'll download that and that's just going to take a second okay I'm now going to launch the MSI and run it. And again, Python 276, who is it for? All users are just me. I'm just going to use the default all users, put it into the default C Python 27 directory, just install everything and let it run. You may get a UAC prompt. So when Python's finished installing, I'll just finish and go back to the App Engine installer. Now I know I have Python, I'm good to go. I'm going to click Next. I have the end user license agreement that I'm just going to accept. Click Next. It's asking me where I'd like to put it. I'm just going to keep the default and create start menu shortcuts and a desktop shortcut as well, of course, adding to the path. And then I'll go ahead and install. I'm going to get another UAC prompt. And once I accept that, App Engine will install. So once the App Engine setup is completed, then um, you can run the launcher directly from here or just finish it. I'm going to run the launcher and then I'm going to close out of the setup. So now we can see the App Engine Launcher app and it's running here. I'm just going to minimize stuff so that we can see it clearly. And the idea is now I can start building applications using this. Now there's one that was on here already that I had created from a previous installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new application and show you what the workflow is like for that. So you say file create new application and you give it a, a name. I'm just going to call it first Python. Give it a parent directory. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. You specify the runtime. We can have PHP or Python in App Engine um, at the moment. You can also have Java and Go, but the App Engine launcher just supports PHP and Python. And it has a default port and a default admin port. I'm just going to keep the port at 9080 and the admin port at 8001. And if I click Create, now first Python will be created, and we see the first Python folder here. I'm going to click Run, and now the App Engine uh, simulator will launch the uh, the this application itself and allow me to run it and browse to it. So I'm just going to get it running for a minute and then I'll go in and I'll take a look and we see in here there's the app.yaml which you're going to be editing extensively as you learn how to do App Engine stuff and there's the Python file itself which is just main.python and I'm just going to open it and take a look. Oops, I'll open it with Notepad so we can take a look. Let me launch Notepad So if I take a look, we can just see it's um, the line breaks aren't very nice on it. But if I move on, we'll just see it's uh, self dot response dot write hello world is in there. So if I browse to this site, we'll see hello world is written for us. So this is the Python application just giving us a hello world and um, as you read through the blog posts or as you read through the documentation uh, for this series you'll see how to edit this you'll see how to edit the uh, app.yaml and all the other goodies that are in there too